There is no need to find any extra points for example 1. Its vertex, its y-intercept and mirror point, and its two zeros give us the five points that we need. Similarly, there is no need to find extra points for example 2. It has two zeros, and its vertex, its y-intercept, and its mirror point add up to five different points, and that is all we need. In example 3, we do have to find two extra points. Because there are no zeros in this parabola, and we do not yet have the five points we need in our table. Because there are no zeros in example 3 due to the negative delta, we have to fill in our table of values with two other points. I call them the extra points. How are we going to find our two extra points? We look on our graph and we see that having a point where x equals negative 1 should give us something around here. Having a point where x equals 2 should give us a point up around here. So I'm going to try putting negative 1 and 2 as x values into my equation. Here's the equation with the x's missing, so there are spaces for me to fill them in. If x equals negative 1, I put a negative 1 into both of these positions. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, and 4 times positive 1 is 4. Minus 4 times negative 1 is also equal to positive 4. And then I add this 4 at the end of the equation. 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12, and I have the point negative 1, 12 in my table and on my graph. When I plug x equals 2 into the equation, I get 4 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 4. 2 squared is 4, times this 4 is 16. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, and then I have this plus 4. 16 minus 8 is 8, plus 4 equals 12 again. I have the point 2, 12, which I put into the table and onto my graph. I'm messing up my equation of axis of symmetry. I'll erase it and draw it somewhere else. This is my parabola. Now let's draw our curve. Make sure you don't use straight lines for this. It's supposed to be a curve. And your drawing will be worth marks on the exam. This is what example 3 looks like after we have put in the two extra points.